I see no way how this can go wrong. <laughs> oh dear, what have I- what am I- Hello and a welcome to democracy! Ah uh, yes, what better way to uh, not be- I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure why I'm doing this to be honest. I love the game, I do. I've installed a bunch of mods on it. If you've never seen this game before, it is a game where you go out and you rule a country. Well, hopefully you rule it fairly and hopefully you get yourself duly elected. However, you can do all sorts of things. Now, it's been a while since I played this, to be honest. I played it back when... Yeah, I don't like assassinations. It's a terrible idea. Um, I played it back... Because, I mean, let's face it, there's a few world leaders that, you know, a few people who, if they, get assa uh, if they were going to get assassinated, why didn't they? Or why don't they? Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> the point is, this game is all about leading your, your people and hopefully making a better world. Or making a terrible, horrible dictatorship, but that's not where I'm at today. So, <clears throat> as you see here, there's just a lot of different choices. You choose America, which is apparently quite easy. Um, which I would really press... I would question that. I'm not sure how, how America can be that easy, especially at this point in time. The United Kingdom. Um, which, contrary to popular belief, I do not come from. <laughs> which is apparently five-star, which I can honestly very much believe. We've got Japan, which is apparently also very difficult. France. Canada. Okay, I can see why that one would be pretty easy. Spain, Germany, Italy, South Korea. So, you know, a fair distance here. But obviously, when you play these sort of games, I like playing my own place. I like playing Australia. Now, Australia is an interesting country. We are very multicultural. However, for the last, well, long term, we've been under a, a very conservative government, which has been an interesting one. And we're finally coming out of that at the moment, which is, which is good for me, at least. So, as you can see from the demographics, you've got a fairly small population, which of course means a pretty uh, low income base, from people at least. You've got a fairly large amount of size, and a very, very high number of nuns. This numbers went even higher, I believe, in the last census, so yes. Obviously we have a lot of natural resources, and we've got a fair amount of, um, well, left, left wing... Uh, social systems and such. We're fairly good in that regards as well. So yeah, we are rather informal. We like barbecues, beach life. I really don't like private schools, so I hope I can I can get away with getting rid of that pretty quickly. There's a few things I'd like to do. Oh, interesting. Adjustments. Band call and ears. Okay. That's cool. Okay, so there's little adjustments have been made at some point. Okay, that's interesting. Obviously, it's these are the things which... Okay, fair enough. Let's just jump in right in. Honestly, I've not played this game in a while, so I'm not actually sure if I'm even going to do very well at all. I played the original. It was quite good at it, but uh, like Democracy 3, that is. Um, and I did quite well in the um, in in the early access, but we'll see. I'm a little bit concerned. So, my party. The Eco Union. Okay, I feel like we at least need the um, the proper parties, right? So apparently, the Greens have won the balance of power, according to this, um, which doesn't seem likely. So I think it's more likely that you've got Labour, who is the main um, alternative party. You would have the Greens as another party. Or we could even just say, let's let, because at the moment there's a big thing here, which is kind of environmentally friendly, kind of... Um, Kind of not. I think that if anyone was going to jump up, we would probably have uh, something to do with the teal, the teal, uh, the teal green um, coalition. Now, obviously, they don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. In fact, the teals are usually pretty center right on economics. So basically, it's sort of making a. If they join forces, it we'd see very similar to Labour um, as it is. So uh, that's a good point. Maybe we should just make the greens separate. Uh, greens. Let's make it the greenies. And then, of course, this will um, make a lot of you confused. Uh, the right-wing party, the right-wing religious-leading party in Australia is called the Liberal 
National Party. Now, the Liberal National Party... The Liberal National Party is a coalition between the um, right-leaning... Um, the right-leaning li uh, liber libertarians, the liberals, and the right-leaning authoritarian, um, like, rural types, the nationals. So, that's how that goes. That's how the liberal nationals are a thing. The greens are obviously the greens. It kind of makes sense. Uh, Labour Party is, well, Labour Party. It's meant to be a, um, a thing about the... Uh, it's meant to be going for going for the the unions and such we're a very strong union country now politically i actually do agree more with the greens um but it's hard to get into power as the greens so it makes more sense for it to be labor that got in um that's why i'd be leading labor well i mean look, i'm not gonna say no <laughs> now another thing to keep in mind about australia which is which is interesting is that we usually only had two pies to deal with lmp and labor however this last election was sort of Kind of crazy, where the LNP actually became sort of a minor party uh, in a lot of ways, uh, and the Teal Independents and the Greens really just wiped the floor. Technically, I should put the Teal Independents up as the third party, but we're, we're going to go off this um, combination for now, so we'll see. Now, political apathy. We can't really have much of that because we, we actually have um, compulsory voting. I do feel, however, that... If I was to judge this, it would definitely be some apathy. So I think we should probably want a little bit of apathy. Because even though it won't stop people from voting, it will make people not caring as much. And not caring is a thing which happens here. Um, how much we value freedom, how much we value socialism, quite high. Economic cycle. I mean, honestly, I'm guessing this is going to start me just before the pandemic. Because, uh... Yeah, so I think we'll keep with that. Obviously, the debt. What is the actual... Is it okay, I don't want to look at the actual debt because, quite frankly, it went up quite a lot over the last few years. So I'll see if I can do better, I suppose. Let's let's just jump in here. Now, there's no actual heavy graphics in this game. So uh, if you're really wanting something really impressive, visually impressive, this is not the game for you. So yes, congratulations on your election victory. Welcome to your new job, Prime Minister. The lives of all 25,498,000 citizens are now in your hands. As you imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that you'll need to deal with as soon as possible, while keeping an eye on your long-term improvement of our citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget, you face re-election in three years, so you need to monitor opinion polls of our and of our party membership. So currently, we have a relatively poor GDP, which is, I mean, we haven't been doing great, let's be honest, last little while. Health is also quite low. Our education standards, I'd actually probably put a little bit lower than this. Um, unemployment is also technically a little bit lower at the moment, um, on paper at least. I don't know if crime is that high, but okay. And poverty, well, yeah. Let's have a look at the uh, ministers we've got though. So, for foreign policy... Alright, so what we, what we want here is we want someone with good loyalty and good campaigning. And we want people who are, who agree with what we do, because what the choices we're making. Now, I'm a bit of a lefty, obviously. Very much a lefty, so I'll try and lead for that sort of stuff. So, what was this first one, actually? It was foreign policy. So, for foreign policy minister, let's see what we've got here. So, we can see what people want to be part of. They want youth committers, they want to be part of transport, economy, public services, etc. So, we want someone who's who's both cares about people who are, um, like, like, not going to, like, we want some, we want someone in power who is going to agree with the decisions we make. Let's be quite frank there. So, if we look at this girl here, this lady here, Caitlin Harris, I think she looks pretty good for the job of foreign policy. She's got a fair amount of experience, which is something you want in, um, it's something you want in a person, in a person in government. Also, high loyalty, high campaigning, is for okay with middle income and state employees. Now, Australia has a lot of state employees, and if I can do anything about it, I'm probably going to increase the state employees quite a lot. So, I think starting off with Carolyn, Caitlin Harris seems like a perfect idea. So let's uh, see if I can put her into the 
place, can I? Let's see. So if I click on there and go higher and go Caitlin Harris, you are on foreign policy. Now, welfare. One person would, one thing I imagine is there has to be someone who A, wants welfare and B, I would rather people going towards, um, well, more socialist sort of viewpoints at least. So if I look through this, let's have a look here. I don't care as much about experience. I care mostly about loyalty. And I know that sounds really bad, but in this game, you have political capital. That's how much you can do. If people agree with you, they're more likely to vote for you. Or vote with you. So we've got Kate Colling here. Liberal capitalist. So that's a no for Kate. Um, liberal is okay, but not in Australia as much. Capitalist, look, I don't have anything against capitalists. I just don't think they should be in charge of welfare. Commuter, ethnic minorities. That person's looking a little bit more um, good. However, a little bit low on the old loyalty side. So let's keep on going down a little bit. Conservatives and socialists. How does how does that work? I'm not going to ask. Um, okay, here we go. Trade unionists and youth. Now, the problem with a trade unionist being in this job is they'll obviously care more about the unions than they would the unemployed. So we don't necessarily want this person in that job, but he's not a bad idea for somewhere else, I reckon. Well, this person's got no campaigning skills, very little experience, and just middle one. He likes conservatives and state employees. So that, that's a no right there. Uh, all right, here we go. Lucas, no experience, but... Really high loyalty, really high campaigning. He's okay. He likes car. He likes cars. You know what? I feel like he'd probably be better at transport minister, Lucas. Do I have any other choices though? I don't know if I do. Um, welfare. I don't want to put you in charge. Okay, parents and socialists. I reckon I could get her up with some more funding for schools. So I reckon if I choose Catherine Wright, I can I can win her over. I reckon I can win her over. Now, econo economy. So it says for industry. Okay. So show potential ministers or hire. Let's hire. All right. So we've got youth and commuter. This person seems like a perfect jo fit job. Um, youth and commuter. So cares about the um, the younger people in our gen in our population. And computers. That's really important for economy, thinking about the future. So that, that person's looking good. In fact, that might be literally the only person in my cabinet who's interested. Okay, yep, good job, Charlotte. You're in. Tax. Well, tax is going to be quite an important role, uh, play an important role in our, in our, um, our state. So we'll see how it goes. Now, as usual, farmers and patriot. That, that doesn't sound positive. Um, Tax, conservatives, and socialists. Once again, this, this person seems quite crazy. That they're going for conservative and socialism. But maybe that's the sort of person you want in charge of tax. Like, conservative tax policy and socialists. So, I don't know. Hmm. Youth and motorist. Okay. How about this person? Loyalty, community conservative. Nope. No. <laughs> Motorists and ethnic minorities. Once again, you will not be good for trans for tax for this. Um, oh, here we go. Tax, socialist, and middle income. So cares about a wide wide variety of people and is socialist. You know what? Yes, you're in. I like that I get to choose because this wasn't the thing you used to be able to do so easily in the old games. At least I couldn't work it out. All right. Let's see, conservatives, socialists, once again, this person's going to have to go on my party at one point, but I just don't know where. Public services is what she wants, but honestly, can, I don't want that. Youth and trade unionist. I think this guy might be better for public services. Because he cares about the future uh, of the youth, and he cares about jobs. So let's just say you. You're not going to like me yet, but let's see what you like me in the future. All right, so law and order. Law and order. What do I want from a law and order person? You know, conservative socialist, maybe. I feel like that might be the best option I've got, but... Hmm. Yeah, none of these people are really... Okay, here we go. What about this person? Capitalist and patriot. Hmm. 
low loyalty, very high campaigning. Um, I think I'm actually going to go with the conservative socialist. Where was she? Socialist commuter? No. Socialist conservative employees? No. Where did she go? I'm completely missing out. Let's go. Just, there's a lot of people who want the law and order job. God. Commuter and extra ethnic minorities? That's another one. Liberal capitalist? No. Socialist commuter? No, it wasn't her. Ah, conservatives and socialist. I feel like she's not going to like me that much. However, she's got a fairly low camp campaigning, which probably means that she won't be too influential. So, yeah. And transport, which is, of course, my friend down here who absolutely loves liberal and commuter. So, and transport is his game. And he's got, he's got, he's got all the spunk in the world. There we go. I think we're good. I think that's good, right? That's uh, relatively suitable, right? There's a few people who hate me, but we can ring them around. So we just got to think about what they want. So this person wants us to do something about youth and trade unions. That's fine. We can incre increase the, the unions, like power, quite quite regularly. Parents and socialists. Okay, parents means funding schools. So, oh dear. So this is how it works. It might look imposing at first, but it really isn't as bad as it sounds. So if we want to do something for education and for parents... We might, we could try working with the environment, but let's see what they actually don't like. They don't like, okay, they really don't like respiratory disease. So maybe a healthcare fund would be a good idea. They don't like legalized sex work, but I mean, meh. Narcotics, they're apparently middle on. So I think the only thing we do is either give them some additional pushes when it comes to child benefits, free parenting classes. Okay. How much are we funding this currently? Hmm, effectiveness is only 33... Oh, that's... Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Question is, I feel like I need to start this off with something relatively big. Executive term limit. There's no executive term limit for us. That's a, We're Australia. All right, well, you know what? If we increased the state health service funding, especially since we know there's going to be a pandemic coming up shortly, which is probably a little bit unfair of us to know, but, in fact, we don't actually know. It's just assuming. I think this is actually a good idea. Because it, it will increase the health of our people. It will hopefully help fight against, if we go here, health. Does that help fight against? Okay, what does fight against this? Healthcare demand it adds to. The environment reduces. Tobacco usage is well, apparently low, so it's that's good, I guess. Wait, no. The environment's taking away from it. And it's adding to this. How do we deal with this? Asthma and lung does I mean, I've got asthma. So, hmm, what can we do here that would help parents and help everyone, really? I really am, am thinking if we could get away with a little bit of extra funding. Now, what is our current deficit? We got a little bit of deficit, a lot of debt. Well, Debt. I think going up and moving it up to the next step is probably not a bad idea. What's the difference in price? It goes from 16 to 19 billion. That's fairly minor. So if we move up there, it will cost us 18 billion extra, which is quite a lot. But if we can introduce a new tax or maybe change the tax rate slightly, I think it might help. Go for it. Let's do some. Uh, let's do some funding. We've also got a little bit more. We need more money as well. Diverted profit tax. Something two billion though. So charity tax relief. Really, no automation tax. No, but that's got a fair amount of potential income on it. Enterprise investment scheme. No. We got to deal with the taxes we've already got. Now, we could raise the corporate tax a little bit, and I think that would make most of our people quite happy. Okay, the middle income is, is mildly unhappy. So, let's actually look at our, at our likes and dislikes at the moment. So, we have a lot of people in commuters, and they're relatively happy. We have a lot of... Everyone itself is quite sad, and it's because of, well, a lot of different reasons. Poll polluted cities. We need to make some money. 
The poor we have quite a lot of and they don't like us. Socialists we have quite a lot of and they're okay with us. State employees we have a lot of. And they quite like us, but I reckon we could do better. We could always decrease our military funding. Now, we don't have as much of Australia, though, so that might be a bad thing for our unemployment. Yeah, let's see what we can do for state rail company. Labor laws. What's this? Balanced. So, well, this is one way. We can just go small pro-union. Wait, that's trade unions? Yeah. Let's go more pro-union. Is that what I want to do, though? Because, like, okay. This will make my unionist member quite happy. Well, not overly happy, but socialist going down. Okay. I don't know why socialists would be very angry about um, stronger. Oh no, socialism is going up though. That's we. Oh no, I see. It's going slightly less down, so it's fine. I was gonna say, why don't they like that? Yeah, you know, I think that might be bad. Uh, not a bad idea. Some labor. Let's let's do some um, labor reshuffling, and that's apparently all we can do. <laughs> Ooh. Oh boy, did I make the right call? I don't know is the answer. Let's go and see what happens. All right, so our GDP is going down. That's okay. Education is going up. That's good. There's a general strike on our hands. Is that because unemployment, trade unions, poverty, poor earnings? We need to increase the poor earnings. Okay, so that's fine. We can deal with this. That's un understandable, honestly. Um, budget deficit a little bit. That's fine. Okay, what if what can we do to raise poor earning? Can we raise wages? Payroll tax reduces wages. Minimum wage. Ooh, I can set. I can raise the minimum wage. Oh. Well, okay then. Can I? Okay, so this would actually probably deal with the strike situation straight away. Let's have a look here. So, we've got poverty going down, poor income going up. Now, what's it costing us? Not much. It is going to make the socialists love us more, which is what we want. Uh, equality goes up, poor income goes up. I think this is, yeah. Now, we probably can't go all the way up because, as you see, that uncompetitive economy is also going up. But I think we can afford a small increase. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. We'll 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 do some things to make people like us soon. We got some time, thankfully. In fact, we do need to <laughs> deal with the popularity. Everyone hates us, apparently. Which is not fair. We've only just got into office. There is some things that, you know. Alright. We got nine. Can we introduce something that everyone will love? Right? CO2 campaign, that's not too bad. Compulsory water meters. I mean, I would have thought we would have already had compulsory water meters. Okay. Elderly incident education program. Honestly, that seems like a fantastic idea. It increases our um increases their ability to go with tech, which is beautiful. It doesn't cost us that much. It increases education. I think that's a perfect option. And go all the way out. Let's let's go for it. Beautiful. Okay, what else can we implement here? Uh that people like. Free tax preparation. Once again, that's a no-brainer. 100 million? Bam! I feel like some of these are a little bit too good. Like, there's no reason not to. Okay. Environmentalist goes up. Water shortage goes down. Environment goes up. Once again. Like, that seems like a no-brainer. And quite frankly, it we've got a water shortage. Conservation program. Saves everything. Costs us a lot, but that's okay. We can bring this back. Once people like us more, we can raise the taxes without people hating us. So, just got to go a little bit more. So, a reasonable foresaw. A recent court case where a rural man was shot and killed by a teenage burglar in his own home has thrown Scott to law regarding reasonable force to defend his property. I mean, we don't have... Like, guns aren't very, aren't very common in Australia. That doesn't seem likely. Nobody has the right to take a life of another, even if they're defending their property, human life of all else. Um... Expand the definition of reasonable force. It's clearly ridiculous that a frightened man far away from police attacked by a violent criminal in his own home will be arrested, let alone charged, even if the criminal dies of struggle. He clarified every citizen has the right to use force to defend their property. Or, unquestioned right to defend property. We should make it clear that the police turn a blind eye to whatever means. Okay, there's got to be a middle ground, right? So basically it's, you can't possibly do it. 
you can do it a little bit, or go to go to he, go to go to town and kill everyone. That that seems like I'm very. That seems like a very um. Okay. Titan definition of reasonable force. Explained. I, okay. The thing is that if someone, if you are in, if if it's a burglar, then no, you shouldn't have the right to kill. Um. But, like, if you're being attacked and and it's a it's an attempted murder, I wouldn't I wouldn't hate someone for trying to fight back that. We don't have guns in this country, so I'm not sure how he got how this rural man shot and killed a teenage burglar. I think, unfortunately, given these options, hmm. Then again, I do see like why would this person be arrested, let alone charged. I feel like what I'd be looking at is tightening gun laws further if this was seriously a major problem. Like, don't get those guns out of the hands. Like, then, if you can learn how to subdue... Or if people will be forced to subdue people without using that... I feel like this is more an American-focused question. In those, in that circumstance, when it comes to the choice between someone getting arrested and someone dying, and someone just getting away with burglary, yes, it's not good, but uh, this is a hard one between these two. I think it's got to be this one. Yeah. I still feel that that's not a problem in Australia as much as they're saying it is. Um... So we don't have anything else we can do currently. We don't look like we've won over either of our people yet. But I guess we'll see. I did implement some quite good policies. So let's see what my po what happens to my popularity next week. Okay. Palestinian conflict. <laughs> look, obviously I'm going to recognize Palestine. Technology backwater. It was up high, now it's going low. Once again, we can increase this with science funding, and that was something I wanted to do anyway. So let's fund some more science, damn it! Budget deficit, that's fine. It's only 27 billion. It's okay. In fact, that's another thing that did happen. That is another thing that happened in Australia. They cut our science funding something chronic. So re increasing the science funding is actually a really needed and important step. So I think that that is what we should focus on this term. We are right that it's very important. Everyone's, everyone had deserves a right. So where is science? Where is the science thing? There it is, science funding. And this funding microscopes. Okay, how much does this cost? Not that much. Honestly, the, the jump from is one to three and it just does everything good. And honestly, this is what we used to do. We used to have Wi-Fi. We were the first people who did Wi-Fi. We, the CSIRO did some amazing science, and honestly, I don't see why they ever lowered it. So, you know what? All in on science, mother trucker. And people will probably not like me. It looks like they still don't enjoy my popularity, but let's do something else that they will we'll have popularity with. Like, for example, art subsidies. Another form of subsidy, which I think we should just... I mean, we've already got an opera house. Are we not funding it? Um, Look, I'm... That's all in, right there. University grants. Okay, this is another issue where we're having a serious problem. Um, at university, our problem with hex is we're seeing some serious issues here. So if I do increase that, what happens? Grants fall. Yeah, I mean, it's not that big of a difference here. It's only 300 million and it does a massive amount of job. Everyone loves it. So yeah, apply the changes. All right, we still got one thing left. All we can do is change the interest rate. That seems like a mod. I feel like that's something that's normal. And community policing. Work with the communities rather than attempting to control it. Community policing encourages police to better understand the needs of the local community, especially in areas of ethnic minorities. Well, that sounds like a fantastic way to do stuff. So, uh, let's see here. So, any social behavior and alcohol abuse, which are big problems in Australia, go down. 
unemployment goes down. Racial tensions goes down. Violent crime goes down. Crime goes down. Liberal goes up. Liberalism goes up. Okay, what if I go all the way? Like, does that have any negative impacts that go up, go down? No. The cost isn't even that big either. So, once again, I feel like this is a relative easy choice. Although, I do have to watch this, this deficit. I do need to increase taxes at some point. Oh, let's see. I'm probably going too fast with this. I'm doing too urgent. Ah! My water shortage situation has been dealt with. Fantastic. Weather forecasts the coming month are quite dull. Heavy cloud coverage with frequent fog and almost no wind. These are not ideal weather conditions for wind turbine solar panels. Oh, that's not good. Or voter conceptions. There's a problem with the way voters perceive you as the leader that needs to be addressed for the next election. Heh. <laughs> well, they're going back up again straight away after. Like, for some reason, they really didn't like something about what I did. And I can't even... Oh, strong leader. Oh, I don't care about being conceived as strong. All right. Good news, econ economy is doing well, health is going up, which is good, employment's going down, GDP is going down still, so we need to do something to increase our ED GDP, we still need to deal with poverty and health. Health is going up, but poverty is something not great. So, okay. I think we could start dealing with our corporate rate. Now the thing is, as we lower, a lot of people like, it says I'm not popular, but, like, a lot of people are okay with me. Payroll tax is against, is for easy to collect and harder, but can be a disincentive to employment. But the thing is, we're already dealing with unemployment, so we can afford to raise this a little bit. Like, well, it says 10% rise, but that would definitely help with our issues. What does that do for us impact-wise? Self-employed goes down. Capitalist goes down. Uncompetitive economy goes up a little bit more. Once again, where are we at this? Um, I want to see that. Never mind. Wages go down. Hmm, that's true, it would. No, no, you don't cancel the policy. No, 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 no. I just want to see what else I can do. Fuel. Classic bag tax. That's okay. What about just income? Do I income tax? I, I think, what about corporate tax? We're getting 7 billion off this. We can raise it up a little bit and get 10 billion. Socialist goes up, capitalist goes down, wealthy goes down, self employed goes down, GDP gets massively hit. Which isn't something we want. We can't, we could lower taxes, but then we wouldn't have the money. So I, I can't do that. There has to be another way to deal with, with this. Hybrid Cars Initiative. That doesn't cost much. And once again, it helps a lot of things. I do like the idea of doing that, but that seems like it's not going to help my situation. Plastics tax may. Once again, affects the GDP. Everything here is going to check the GDP, though, so I shouldn't be afraid of the GDP. I think this is a good, solid one. Let's see what happens when I do that. So environmentalist goes up, motors goes up, car usage goes up, environment income goes up, environment goes up, environmentalists go, like me, high earnings like me, and we got some good good transition. So I think you know it's it's I'm still spending money at the moment. That's the problem. I'm spending a lot of money at the moment. I do need to turn my deficit back around, but I need to be more popular first. All right, pollution is now under control. Beautiful. A rail strike is under 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 there, so we'll need to spend more money on our. Oh wow, rail industry down. Well, yeah. Uh, wait, how much do we have to pay? Ooh, that's quite a lot. Um, to be fair, we do use a lot of that. What happens if I do raise it up there to the four point, not to the seven point? No, to the four point. So rail strike goes down quite a lot. Unemployment goes down quite a lot. Capitalists go down a lot. Trade unions goes up. That goes up. Commuter membership goes up. I think that's a fairly good trade. It's not too much money. Let's just do that. Um, stop and search. Okay, there are demands for the police that have the power to stop and search people on the street. They believe they might be guilty of a crime. Currently, the police can't do something without formally arresting. No, that's silly. Deficit of 30 billion. Everyone's loyal. Okay. Okay. Health is still going up. Empl unemployment is getting... I think that might be better? I can't tell. I can't tell if up or down is bad at this point. 
Um, actually, I don't really don't know. What? Let's have a look here. University grants reduce unemployment. State schools reduce. State health service reduces. So yeah, unemployment is increasing is bad. So yeah, that's fine. All right. Let's see what other things we have to we can deal with right now. Because if we can get rid of some of these big problems, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's just deal with the Middle East instability, guys. Something tells me I won't be solving that problem anytime soon, no. Uh, polluted cities, that's about to go away. Fantastic. And that will help a lot. It's costing us money. It's contributing to respiratory disease. So that's good. We're already doing actions towards that. Food banks. Okay, that's a little bit concerning. How can we lower the food price? So, oof, that is high. International trade is is turning that, putting that down. Currency strength is putting it up, obviously, um, because we have to pay more for food. Antibiotics ban. Oh yeah, of course we gotta keep that banned. Okay, what if I did some farming subsidies? Um, would that help? Or well, city farms. Farmers, farms where the food price goes down. We don't really have that many cities, but like that might help. Eco home regulations, no, I wouldn't be happy about that. Business startup campaign, helicopter interest rate. Uh state energy company. And we thought I mean we we don't have a state energy company, but we'd love to. Um we can do that later. I think our best bet, if we're trying to deal with the issue of food price, might be getting more farms in the cities. What does that cost us? Nothing. What does it do to food price? Down. Farmers membership goes up, farmers go up. Fantastic. Let's get more farmers out here. Smart meters also. Once again, energy industry goes down, energy efficiency goes up, environmentalist membership goes up. Not what we're looking to deal with right now because we've actually dealt with our pollution problem, which is crazy. Now, uncompetitive economy is something we've got to deal with at some point. Import tariffs will reduce that. Productivity. Payroll tax is increasing it. Minimum wage is increasing it. Cooperation tax is increasing it. So, import tariffs decrease it. So, if I go up, what happens? Does that... Import tariffs actually, yeah, decrease the... Increase the uncompetitive economy quite a lot. So, what if I get rid of all... What if I get rid of it? What does that do? So... Capitalist goes away, Patriot goes away, unemployment goes away. It says, why not just get rid of import tariffs? Like, realistically, local companies can't... If we can help provide our people, we won't need that. International trade goes down, uncompetitive economy is massive, and then we can afford to do other things about our, our things. So, I think just cancelling it. We can always bring it back later. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Get rid of the tariffs. All right, drilling subsidies. Well, that's definitely something we need to get rid of. Especially, I know its deficit is quite high, so yeah, we can get rid of some spending on this. And we have a serious problem when it comes to this. So that would save me $4 billion in the budget. It would make environmentalists hate me less. It would create, only decrease the oil supply slightly. GDP would be decreased slightly, but I think we can do better at that. I think that's better because then we can combine it with some more subsidies for green energy. So let's do that. Okay. This is the thing with this game. This is how I talk through every term, turn. I'm constantly like, am I making the right choices? I can only do so much at one time. What choices do I need to make? Let's go. All right. Credit rating downgraded. That's to be expected. That's okay. Okay, that should be going down soon, right? We sort of... Okay, science funding is... Yeah, it's coming into play. Secularity of, of, of um, education is increasing. Technology backwater? What is our current thing? Science emphasis. Well, that's... Okay. I want it to be more science emphasis, but I don't see how that's... Um... Let's just cancel and then go out. Um, so, technology backwater. I... Wait, I increased science funding. Technology. Yeah, that should increase technology. Okay. 
look, let's just see what we can do here. I think we got to see, keep on trying with science in general. Increasing state schools funding is something we've already done, which we're already doing. Um, university grants, we've increased that quite a lot. We can increase that further later. Um, what else do we have here? State Postal Service. I mean, once again, we've already got that. It's great. Public libraries, already massive. If I want to cut some expenditure, some some um, spending, what is the biggest thing? Health service, that's fine. Say pensions. Private pensions go down. We've got a lot of private pensions, but I don't want to cut pensions. That's just not right. Military spending is a big part of our budget. And do we really need it? that much Let's see what happens how much does this do if we take it down so a little drop will save us two million dollars and we'll increase our military strength by quite a lot well trained light defensive and it goes all the way down to reservists so i don't think you can get attacked in this game so maybe if we just stay like right here we won't have a huge impact on state employees it will however save us three billion dollars so let's try police training national armed forces week no bicycle subs okay this is another thing we need to do telecommuting is okay that's a perfect one car used to go down commuter goes up productivity goes up we need that we need that we need that we need all of that so let's see what happens yep commuter goes up uh community membership goes down car usage goes down parents go up trade unions go up yeah, that's perfect. Of course, people on the roads are going to be happy when the road's less free. So, less full. So, yes. Um, bicycle subsidies? Maybe. Maybe. Ooh, Social Justice Youth, Pol Youth Politics Council. Now, that is an important one. What's the second thing it increases? Um, I'll keep the, the country tidy. It's got pretty good popularity. Mm. Okay, transport. We've already looked at those. Economy. Business startups. Once again, National Business Council. No, Trade Council. That's not a bad idea, but... Hmm. State orphanages. Yeah, we do not have orphanages in Australia. Funny, funny thing. Tourism ad campaign. Once again, that's probably not a bad idea, but not before a pandemic. And if they are going to be realistic on us and bring a pandemic pretty soon... I think the best bet we've got at the moment is this. We can keep on pushing people in the right direction to like our other policies, which is important. Um, and it's not costing us too much. It's just a positive thing for us right now. Popularity is still going places, but that's okay. If we can increase the number of state employees we have, which we are doing. Skate school funding's gone up. We've put, we've put up school funding. We've put up science funding. We've put up state health service the more stuff we put up in state the more people will be state and more people will like us same with socialists they love us so we can get more people to have these two that's good how's this going oh it's going down for the first time in a while how about this one okay uncompetitive economy yep okay fair enough food crisis is going down steadily so that's good environmental protests i mean once again, I don't blame them. But polluted cities are gone, so that should help. Food banks. They're going down too, which is good. Our food prices are lowering. Polluted cities is almost gone entirely. Fantastic. Uh, Middle East instability. I mean, once again, we can't really do anything about that. Okay, this one, it kind of sucks we even got it. If I'd known that was a thing, I would have dealt with that. But, oh well. Alcohol abuse. Oh, have I finally, have I dealt with the alcohol problem in Australia just by dealing with community policing? I mean, okay, that doesn't make no sense. Youth crime, fairly, yep. Antisocial behavior is also dropping, although it was only up during my thing anyway, by the looks of it. That's good, that's good. And organized crime is, well, yeah. If we legalize, if we deal with, if we increase the legal, like the rules around sex work and other stuff, we might actually be able to kill that pretty good Ugh. don't want that um can i tax cryptocurrency that would be fantastic okay but now there's nothing else we can do so let's see what we did all right transmission lines damaged well that sucks but nothing we can do about that people still don't think we're strong but that's okay gdp is rising though for the first time
having tax evasion. I mean, it's not. It's actually gone down a little bit, so it is going up a little bit more now. But I think we've actually done all right. Come to think of it, so it's fine. All right. We got to deal with more of these issues. If we can deal with the issues, maybe people just vote for us anyway, right? No, I'm not dealing with those issues. Okay, alcohol abuse should be gone next turn. Respiratory disease, I mean, that will take a while. Gee, one of these, one of my other people, you don't like me as much anymore. Your experience is going up. Oh, you can serve it. Of course you don't. Um, what if I was to help you out with something? What if I was... Ooh, legal aid. Ooh, I feel like that's just a good idea in general, once again. It doesn't cost too much either, but... It's not what I... Mm, mm, it's, it's, it's costing a fair amount, actually. If we just do a small rise to it now... It costs only two. Uh, no, we can, we can come back to that. Ooh, right to privacy. That seems good. State religion, no. <laughs> Unexplained wealth orders. Ooh, that's interesting. Corruption and organized crime goes down. A break with normal assumption of innocence or proven duty. The unexplained wealth order allows prosecution where a wealthy individual cannot explain where their wealth comes from. Controversial, but we do have an organized crime problem. And corruption problem. So, uh, sorry buds. This is a no-brainer for me. I'll do something else to make the liberals happy. Oh, not. Maybe not. Apparently they don't like the science, so... Alright, so for extraterrestrial life. People are really happy about that for some reason. Liberals are really happy with it. Well, you know what? Fine. If that's what I've got to do to, to win back the liberal voter... That's, that's fine, I guess. I don't really have anything else I can do, do I? Competition law. Balanced. Pro small business, pro big business. Well, obviously I'm going to go for more small business. There we go. Spend the pack capital. Let's go. Let's see what I, let's see when, what's going to happen. All right. Alcohol abuse is gone. Polluted cities has gone. Art video games. Well, obviously I'm going to leave unchanged. Yeah, screw you. It's fine. Right, crime is finally dropping. Health is raising. GDP is raising. We got to deal with... Getting more popular. Fantastic. We're getting more popular. It's okay. We've still got time. We've still got time. A lot of our own people, though, are starting to dislike us a little bit. That's okay. Parents, why do you guys dislike us? There's probably something else we can do to help parents like us more. Free parenting classes. Yeah, teach the parents that, that they can parent with parents. Beautiful. Actually, that's a brilliant idea anyway. Yes, definitely increase the funding for that. That's just no no brainer there. All right, what else can we do to make parents like us more? Cyberbullying awareness. I mean, bullying awareness is better than, um, than trying to actually take action on our free speech and such. Like, I feel like a lot of time they use, um, taking away, they, they use a bunch of, in Australia at least, they've got a serious problem where we're stifling journalists, um, for the sake of quote unquote, um, protecting the children, uh, which is bad. So, university grants, that's already gone up. Maternity leave. It doesn't, honestly, that seems like a good idea. But can I afford it right now? Probably not. No, 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 no. Probably can't afford it right now. Let's see what else we can do. Bus lanes, biofuel subsidies. That's actually a good idea right now too. Because we did just lower... In fact, I want to lower that more. So if we do this, oil demand goes down. Farmers go up, which is what we needed. We need more farming. We need more food. Our food price goes up. So that's a no. Got to be something else we can do to deal with our... Oh, here we go. Oil demand. Yes. Then again, we also need to increase our green production first, because if we don't have that, then there's not much point. Green buses, state airline. And that, once again, just seems like a great idea, but not from an environmental perspective. So, uh, What else do we have here? Food Servant Standards Agency. We don't already have one of those? That's a surprise. 
compulsory foreign language classes. That just seems like a great idea too. Like that's really cheap, and has quite high popular popularity. Okay. Rural okay. Rural internet subsidy. Farmers internet speed goes up. Honestly, this is great. Yep. Do it. Family planning. It just seems also like a completely reasonable thing. Sexual health in the country. Parents membership goes down. That's probably not a bad thing. Population goes down. Probably not a bad thing. Okay. I think we're looking all right here. I think that might be a good good call. How much we spend on this? Um, religious, conservatives, parents membership. You know what? That's not a bad idea. If we can't make the parents love us like that, we can just get rid of the parents. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but it's, 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 it's by letting them be able to choose rather than um, just making poor mistakes in their in their youth. All right, I think we're going all right here. Citizens' rights. What was this? What were these two ways, guys? Limited rights. Okay, no, that's uh, we've already got cooling off peri periods here. I think so. Now we've actually got very strong rules in that regards. Crime is starting to lower, which is good. Anti-social behavior is dropping dramatically. City farms already at maximum. We need something. We need to see what else we can do to put stuff up. Competition law. I mean, what We did already raise this, but if we raise it again, self-employed goes up more. Capitalist goes down more. Self-employed goes up. Hmm. I don't know. We've, we've sort of... If we get small business, we don't need to worry as much about certain other things, so... Oh, recycling. That's always a good positive call. There's a doorstop. I mean, we've already got we've already got universal doorstop collection, so I'm not entirely sure why we don't already have maximum funding on that. So, okay, technology grants. That's an important one for GDP, for productivity, for everyone. I think that's a good call. Raising that. Let's go. All right. Unit tax on superstores. I mean, that seems like a great idea. There you go. I'll put a punitive tax on superstores if that's what you think will help her. I don't know why she'd like that, but he is a socialist, I suppose. So that makes sense. In fact, how high can we put it? Because when you put it in like this, you're going straight away. Quite frankly, that's actually pretty good. Car usage goes down, self employed goes down. Screw it. Let's do punitive tax on social services. Doctor strike. Well, once again, it's it looks like we've been there for a while. So if we can increase the um, state health service more, we should be right on that. So that's fine. Food banks, fantastic. Anti-social behavior gone, fantastic. Our GDP is raising some more. Our crime is lowering some more, and our employment is lowering some more as well. Our budget deficit is going down, which is good. I think we're good. Okay. Oh, we do not have very much in the way. Oh, yeah, because we've already done something for this lady. Well, the socialists love me. Conservatives hate me. So, once again, I feel like that's more a you problem than a me problem, but okay. Now, that doesn't really do much. It costs an awful lot. So, it's, it's, it's a good policy to have in place, but... Family planning, that's already at max. Okay. Child benefit. Well, we don't really need that, do we? It does increase the poor burn and it's yes. It's a lot of money to spend. I might just cancel that because we don't really need. I think we can find better ways to give money to the parents than that. Disability benefit also something we should consider upgrading at some point um consumer rights okay we really need to deal with this doctor's strike thing that's already that's still going up in fact is there anything we can implement i still think that's a great idea Okay, 
Pandemic Preparation Fund. Let's use safeguard. Oh, who needs that? I'm kidding. That's actually pretty good because everyone's population goes up, population goes up, unemployment goes down. I realize this is one of those things that realistically, <laughs> I'm doing this with the benefit of hindsight. So basic stuff, base protective, PBF plants, um, special equipment, special containment vehicles, teams planning, warning systems, special operations team, naval assets, and evacuation centers. Wow. Sure, if that lowers my... I'm sure it's one of the mods I have, but okay. I, I'm not going to say no to an overpowered thing. Alright, so. The short-term payday loan companies offering loans at extremely high interest rates, tying the poorest in society due to their lack of access to mainstream lenders. This is really bad. So, this is really bad. We It's actually a big, serious problem in our country. Hey, my, popular, my popularity is going up. Credit rating upgraded. Fantastic. Pipeline protests. Um, that's fine. Budget report. Where our budget is going, our deficit is going down. Okay, I don't feel like that's something we can do anything about. Oh, it is. Okay, temperature. Well, we're dealing with that as best that we can as well. But it looks like it's actually going down, not up, but okay. All right, crime's going down, unemployment's going down, GDP's going up. Sounds good to me. I really want free school meals. That is something I personally, as a person, really believe is something that we need to have universally everywhere. I'm a teacher. I see what it's like. And quite frankly, I think that's one of the best things that, that Finland has. I think it's one of the best things that Scandinavia in general has. Um, Sweden and such. I feel like we really, in Norway, I really feel like we need free school meals. Like, I honestly do. So that one's in. Also, also... Reforestation. Even if it costs us a little bit. That's fantastic. Respiratory diseases go down, CO2 industry go down, unemployment goes down. Surely we can do something with this. What happens if we go all the way out? Yep, fantastic. Spend all the money. Spend all the money and then we'll tax more. <laughs> okay. Improve tenancy rights. That sounds important to me. Campaign speech is available. Also sounds pretty important. My popula my health is finally up in the green, so that's good. Crimes finally in the in the orange. Honestly, this is fantastic. Corporate exodus. Well, you know what? See you later, fellas. I'll just support small business more. All right, let's go. So. One of the new changes they added in this, in this um, Democracy 4 is the ability to give campaign speeches. So you can choose who you want to appeal to and who you don't. So in case this one, for example, socialists will really like if I say this. Um, let's see, who else? We need ones of high membership and high happiness. So if there's a high membership... Okay, so... There's a fair number of liberals, and they're relatively happy. What would be going against conservatives? Well, I mean, yeah. Okay. Now, how much does this cost? Okay. Wealthy, 4%, 43%. Yeah, no. Okay, state employees also seems like a very important one. So, let's do this. So, so today... I don't want to talk about the present. I want to talk about the future. Whatever we have in store can't be known. Let every nation know whether it wishes us ill or fit, that we shall pay any price, better or bear any burden, meet any hardship, meh. And a society works for everyone, so we can bring the people back together, rich and poor, north and south, ur ur urban and rural, young and old. I mean, that seems like a perfectly reasonable speech.
There we go, looks good to me. All right, popularity will hopefully go up, who knows. All right. I kind of want to go for the compulsory language classes too. I feel like that's a very good idea for us in general, so let's apply changes on that one. Now we want something more, what something else, one more popular thing to introduce. Something that people will really like. If we can. Yeah, I, I'm finally doing it. I'm doing it. What is this other one? I don't know. It's doing something. But I don't know what. Is that dangerous? I don't know. But let's do it because everyone loves it. Okay. There we go. Bailout company, corporate exes. <laughs> yeah, it does have an effect on our GDP, which is a problem. But I think we can deal with this. It's fine. Okay, so GDP is now going down, obviously, because of that. Health is still going up. Employment's going uh, going up, which is bad. Um, crime, okay. Our deficit is going down still a little bit. Okay. Manifesto. All right. Secularity of education raised by fifty percent. I mean, that just sounds like an easy one for me to do. Once again, I feel like there's something not working there. Let's aim to cut poverty. And let's aim. That's probably all we want to do right now, right? Oh god, the LMP. That's about right. Lots of funding there. You think of me as trustworthy, not sung, and compassionate. So that's fair. All right. I've really got to make someone love me some more before we go into the election because that feels like a very important thing. In fact, given the fact we've still got the issue with the food price, although how is that going? Yeah, food price is dropping. If we give it one final push over the edge, that might actually help us. If we did this organic farming, that might be the way to go. Going a little bit to agrarian at that point, but that's okay for now. Don't know if that was the best use of my time, but uh, I guess I don't really have a choice now, do I? Bailout company. Stargazy Steelworks is one of the largest steelworks in the country, run into serious financial problems and forge of going under. The company executives think they can get new orders and, and keep the company going after the government to provide interest-free loans going for the next few months. So we can help the company, gives them thousands of people jobs, that's fair enough, um, but no. <laughs> Free market or take partial ownership. Let the tax code crash... Private industry full hearted. It's bailing out, but sees a minority stake in the business. Oh, yes. Don't care about business confidence. You're all leaving me anyway. Let's state run this sh Shazam. Oh, dear. Well, I guess we're going to find out if there's going to be a second episode. Nah. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is hard. Hey! <laughs> Woo! Oh, that, that had me going for a second there. Far out. Oh. Oh. I'd like to thank all the people who made this possible. <laughs> and, and that's... <laughs> and that's all. Okay, <laughs> let's have a look here. So, we got the Count. Liberal National... Liberal National Party almost got us. Labor Party. Quite high. Greens. Non-voters. 
Wow, they would take they have to get they actually get um specifically they get fined here like quite a lot if they don't do it. So turn out 100%, so 100% turn out. Uh activist boost. Or oh, maybe there's been people who are like haven't signed up to vote. That would make sense cuz if you don't sign up for vote, you can't be uh yeah, punished if you don't vote, which is a little weird. Spending impact negative 10%, minus impact plus 30%. Okay. So we got a breakdown. The socialists voted for me overwhelmingly. So commuters, liberals, self-employed, the poor, farmers, the youth, even the capitalists voted uh, voted for me for a fair amount. Patriots, <laughs> religious people voted for me thirty nine percent. Really, environmentalists seventy nine percent. Middle income, state employees, ethnic my minorities, retired. Okay, the retired didn't like me. Which is weird. I mean, makes me sort of feel like I should lower pensions. No, I'm not retaliatory here. Not retaliatory. Also, it's very funny and ironic that the Greens um, voters come mostly from the capitalist and religious. That's that's definitely not how it is at all. No. Um, trade unionist. We, we also have a uh, system where we have uh, what's-his-face voting. Um, preferential voting, so. The conservatives hate me. But, that's okay. So, during my first term, the food price plummeted 56%. The environment became 50% more habitable. Health skyrocketed. Crime plummeted. Stability plummeted. Um, not stability. Global stability plummeted, but that wasn't under me. That wasn't my fault, I swear. So my stability, though, rose dramatically. Oil demand plummeted. Gender equality rose. Tourism rose. Other emissions and particulates went down, poverty went down, violent crime went down, GDP went down, traffic congestion, productivity went up, car usage went down, CO2 went down, healthcare demand went down, air travel went down. See, this thing, I don't need to spend as much on healthcare if I get people more healthy. Human development went up, private healthcare went down, ah, beautiful, electric transition went up, um, education went up, nuclear proliferation I mean, okay, that feels like it's not something I had anything to do with. International trade went up. Foreign investment. Military strength went down. Oil prices went down. Tobacco usage went down. Equity went up. Lifespan went up. Immigration demand went up. Plant-based diet went down. Private pensions went down. Mental health went in, in a positive way, I think. I think that's what that means. Um, alcohol consumption down. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. The point is you can go through and see exactly what we did. And you can see what my main focuses were. And they actually worked out pretty well. Environment, health, and... Um, Equality, that was what my goals was. Vote analysis. Yep, most people voted for me. And have relatively high approval of me. Whereas, even the lower ones have fairly high approval of me. So that's fine. Let's talk to a few of these people. Jade Mitzel. Yes, they're all members of the party as well. Okay, and Compass... Okay, so <laughs> apparently I'm more capitalistic than I was expecting, um, but that will change when I start taxing more. So it went up into authoritarian at first, but to be fair, I, I definitely did do a few, actually no, a different way around. Liberal, socialist, conservative, capitalist. Oh, never mind, that's, that's towards liberal it went. Okay, that's, that's, that's a little bit more... I thought that was... No, conservative. Yeah, okay. They're just saying conservative as blanketly authoritarian. Instead of authority, liberal, they're saying cons conservative. And yeah, okay, that's fair. Oh, and this is all the voters. Oh, all the voters are on the spectrum too. Interesting. So I actually was pretty much in with the voters at this point. Okay, that's cool. Well, I think you get the idea. Australia. Australia. Is under some new leadership. And it's time that we spend some time with that and see how that goes. So I don't know how long it's going to go. Probably until I've done everything I want to do. It might be just one or two um, terms, but that's okay. I'm just having some fun here. Obviously, this is a game which was made by people. It is... Um, I've got my biases. The game makers obviously have their biases. And as does probably most of the mod makers that I downloaded. So it'd be interesting to see what sort of things happen. So, yeah. Well, Democracy 4.
I'll see you all next time. And goodbye.